One of my best friends was murdered four, four and a half years ago. And I've been thinking about her a lot lately. And I've been thinking about the fact that I regret how I allowed our relationship to deteriorate the year before she died. I have this regret of allowing my beliefs destroy my friendships and my relationships. And sometimes when you talk to people about things like that, they just say, you know, don't have regrets and everything happens for a reason. And I'm not a fan of cliche statements like everything happens for a reason. I don't think everything happens for a reason. I think things can work together in your favor. I think you can overcome things, but I don't think everything happens for a reason. And I don't think it's healthy to say that you shouldn't have regrets. Regrets allow the gravity of our decisions to keep us from making those decisions again. Now, I don't believe that your regrets, your regrets should stagnate you. I don't believe you should allow your regrets to um, destroy you or make you filled with shame and regret that you lose yourself and things that you cannot change. However, I think there is a healthy balance, excuse me, to recognizing your failures and regrets, just like you need to recognize your wins and accomplishments. But we had a great relationship and I pulled away because Basically, her lifestyle did not match up with the lifestyle that I thought you were supposed to live based on my belief system. And so we talked and things like that. The week that she was murdered, we were supposed to meet up three days later. We had already planned it. I was planning on moving out of the state and, you know, it just, it didn't work out. We never saw each other again. And... I can't see now how I could ever do anybody like that again, but I get it looking backwards. Even my grandparents, my paternal grandparents, we had such rifts in our relationships um, because the things, some of the things that they believed or practiced flew in the face of my belief system once again. And this was as a teenager. Even my grandmother and I stopped speaking for a year one time because of something that she practiced. She was a very spiritual woman. And I wasn't able to see that as a teenager because I knew what I knew. And I knew that you couldn't change it. So if what I know conflicts with what you do, then you're wrong. I'm right. And there's no way around it <laughs> as a teenager. And that's scary because as I work with a lot of the kids in my neighborhoods or teenagers that I work with, I see how sometimes they can get caught up in that where you know, you're at that place and it's kind of good that you're very strong in your beliefs and things like that. But when you're no longer open to receive new information outside of what it is that you devised or taken in as truth, then that's when you start making the mistakes of pushing people away, missing opportunities or missing out on great experiences that you can have. And literally one of my biggest regrets is not taking the time to ask my, my grandparents certain questions while they were here. And the hard irony of it all is for the same reason that my grandmother and I um, stopped talking for like a year, 
I use some of those same practices today in my life. My grandfather one day made a statement that blew my mind. And I just was like baffled, like what? You don't believe what? What did you say? What? Mind you, I'm a teenager and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and that same statement, if he made it to me today, I would agree with him a thousand percent. And that's the hard, hard reality because both of my grandparents are gone now. My grandmother, she left this world last year. My grandfather, he transitioned maybe three years ago. And it's crazy. And some things you learn late, some things you learn after the fact when you can't say I'm sorry or you can't make amends or you can't ask your questions anymore. And so my encouragement to you would be one, to open your mind to see something beyond your, your view. Open your mind to take in and appreciate the relationships that you have and allow it to be okay if the relationships that you have don't fit into this perfect little puzzle that you've created in your mind. There are people that don't look like you, live like you, love like you, think like you. There are people that believe some things that will probably blow your mind because your little world is this big. And that's the reality. And I don't want to knock anybody, but sometimes you just have to see things for what it is. You see life through a hole that's this big. And life doesn't actually fit inside the frame. But when you see it like this. And it, your focus is so narrowed that you can't help but look at other people funny. You can't help but look at, each, uh, at other people strange. So that's just been weighing on me. So I wanted to hopefully give someone an opportunity, one, to allow yourself to have regrets. As long as you learn from it. As long as you grow from it. And two, encourage someone to allow yourself to be teachable. My mom would always say, Ashley, you always have to have a teachable spirit. <laughs> and I do. I definitely do now. Um, and I have had a teachable spirit for some years now. But unfortunately, that came a little too late for some of the things that mattered most and matter most to me. So I hope you guys are encouraged. I know this wasn't a super... La la, exciting video, but it's just how I was feeling and I wanted to share that with you. Make sure you live um, in a way that you won't have regrets going forward, but recognize the ones that you have, the ones that are behind you so you can learn from it and so you can grow. That's it. Peace, family.